Usually when you unload your horse, he's a little bit nervous, especially a new horse, a green horse, he's a little bit nervous. He's using the reactive side of his brain. He's not gonna be thinking about you. So I don't wanna just tie him up and put him in a claustrophobic situation. Put the saddle on him, yank the girth up and hope for the best. So before we try to saddle him, I need to get him using the thinking side of his brain. So Kristen, go ahead and back him down here. Remember, the more you can back your horse up, the better. Backing is the number one exercise for you to use to gain control and respect on your horse. Okay, Kristen, now you've got a little open area. Do a little lunge in stage one there. Move him around. That's it, wake him up. So he's gonna be, expect them to be a little bit looky. They've just got off the trailer. They really don't know where they are. So before we go and tie them up and, and you know, set them up for failure where they're gonna pull back and re overreact, okay, send them the other way. So right then she spanked on his ass a little bit because Theon was a little bit lazy, okay? Move him around there. Yield. Now, Kristen, if we had a little less area, do a little circle driving on the spot. Like, you've got to be a little creative about how much room you've got. So do a little circle driving right there. Circle driving. Put your stick on his back. Imagine you don't have much room. So just do a little bit of circle driving right here. Okay? Just grab it, grab it. Yeah, that's it. Gather your string up. Yield, just go back the other way. So it's kind of a version of circle driving, lunging for respect stage one. You may not have a lot of room to move your horse's feet around. Make him speed up a little bit, come on. Make him kind of hustle a little bit more. That's better. I can move forward. If you're not happy with the circle, you're going to keep going around until you get happy with the circle. Starting to lick his lips just a little bit there. So if this circle you're not happy with, Kristen, just stay with it a little longer until he goes forward more. Change directions. Now you could do a little bit like stirrup driving, but just pivot and use the stick up under his belly. Like let's say you had even less room to move him around. Here's another little thing I'd do. Just tighten it up there. Yield his hindquarters, go the other way. So even if you don't have a lot of room, you, you just have to learn to be a little creative about what you're doing. Right, uh, Kristen, back him up to the trailer. Do the sending exercise. So before we tie him up, let's get him using the thinking side of his brain. Now this whole process, it might take one minute, two minutes, it might take 10 minutes, it might take 15 minutes if it's a real spooky, jumpy, reactive kind of horse, hot-blooded. Radio, 